some scary tales to tell on a midnight run to madness. I'm on a highway to hello, boils and ghouls. As you can see, I'm taking today's terror tale on the road. Out for a little fresh scare, you might say. <laughs> little bile bubbler that takes place in the sweltering insect infested jungles of <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. what did one ghost say to the other ghost don't forget to fasten your seat belt <laughs> now move it or lose it quickly some drivers are real animals, not to mention their vehicles. An undertaker statement, trip keeper. I'm boxed in, trapped. Now I know how the animals feel in today's snare-raising story. It's a blood-chilling tale about an inhumane hunter who could scare less about the animals he trapped. I call it hunted. going to end up as my friend <laughs> well it's all the same to me I get paid up front sweet dreams tell them they've got 30 minutes to package it up before the tranquilizer wears off Got it. <laughs> they do not like being so close to each other. <laughs> That's the least of their worries. You guys should have guided me this far into the interior before. It's paid off in spades. I know about your zoos. I know from where I learned your language. You don't say. The animals will be well cared for at the zoos? Well, I suppose they would be if that was where they were going. Those animals there are going to end up as everything from fur coats to rugs to fancy appetizers. What do you care? You people hunt them. For food, and only as much as we need. Yeah, well, there's lots more where those came from. Maybe not. Some are hard to find. Maybe they are the last. Then all the better. The rarer they are, the higher the price. I think it'd be better if you didn't say anything to the others. Just between you and me, okay? Just do your job and don't worry about it, kid. A lot of them never make it to where they're going anyway. <laughs> Shut up! What's up with them? You didn't tell them about our conversation this afternoon, did you? No. Come on, kid. They're worried about something. We have come too far. 
It is out there. It? Our legends speak of a beast that walks on four and on two. Not man, not animal. Onaya. A devil beast that can change shape like a ghost. A ghost? <laughs> You're joking. You're serious. Listen, kid. Where I come from, they call it Bigfoot, Sasquatch, the Abominable Snowman, whatever. It's all the same. Baloney. Ghosts, devil beast. <laughs> Baloney? or something, go back to sleep. <gasps> it carted off my whole payload. Whatever it was just robbed me blind. Ah. And what? Nobody saw anything? We heard. The silence, right. <gasps> this isn't fur from any animal I've ever seen. Onaya. There's only one of them, and that means we're talking big bucks for this baby. Tell them to break camp. We're going in deeper. What's wrong with them? The legends say... I know, devil beast. Maybe. But it's not going to look so ghostly when they see it in a cage. Tell them! It is no use. They will not go. I need someone. You! I'll pay you double! Triple! More than you've ever seen before! You know what money can buy! I bet you learned that where you learned about zoos! Okay. You won't be sorry, kid. Let's go! will satisfy your thirst. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't want you out of my sight again. Understand? We are very deep. Yeah, well, you're not bailing out on me now. We're going deeper. All the way until we get that thing. See that? 
It almost got me, kid. Huh? Ah! 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 Like I said, you're not bailing out on me. Let's go. Rest. When we find a dry spot. will not be found if it does not want to be found. What is it? What? Huh? Ah! What is that thing? Perhaps it wants to be found. Hey, wait! You can't leave me, kid. We had a deal! If you do not come with me, the legends say the Onaya will swallow up your spirit. Can't walk out on me, you little thump! <laughs> I'll take this thing myself! And I hope it's the very last one!
has finally given up! The hunter has won! You don't know what I've gone through to finally get you! Hey! What? And you wouldn't believe what I went through to get you here. You were hunting me? I used to be a hunter for hire like yourself. I prided myself on having caught at least one of every species the wilds had to offer. I'd even hazard a guess that one or two of my victims may well have been the very last of their species. But then, like you, I didn't care. One night, as a hunter, I was severely gouged by a rare white panther. A local shaman seemed to appear out of nowhere. The shaman administered his medicines derived from this forest. He saved my life. But, as you know oh so well, everything has a price. Mine was a curse. This spot, a long time ago, as given, the curse could never be removed, only passed on. So, you see, once again, the hunter has become the very beast he hunted. Because of the legends, no one comes this deeply. No one except hunters like us who will go to any lengths in our relentless endeavor to entrap, enslave, and even destroy the very rarest of living creatures, all in the name of mindless greed. I did not take the beasts you captured. I freed them. And so will you when your chance comes. But until it does, I have a long journey ahead of me, and so do you. I trust we will both reach our respective ends. of his worries. The paw of the jungle had netted the hunter a hard lesson. Take care of the natural world, or the supernatural will take care of you. <laughs> I'll take care of you if you don't get off my bumper, ya worm bucket. There's only one problem with monster trucks, Cryptkeeper. You have to feed them! <laughs> Keeper. Fortunately, I bought this sinister cycle from James Bones. Be kind to animals. 
They may be someone you know. <laughs>